What's up people? I'm to your point Bow, and today we go soaring through the skies as we look at probably one of the greatest new anime to come out in the last few years because this is Last Exile, Fam the Silver Wing. Off the tracks. So Fan the Silver Wing takes place 18 years after the original Last Exile series. But not to worry, you, you don't have to watch anything or do any reading up on the original series before going into it because this is a brand new story and you will not be lost. You can, it's very easy to pick up and not only that, but there is not that much throwback to the original Last Exile series. It's a little bit, but it's put in a way that you can actually understand. So you'll be able to understand the entire series without any back research. Now this series follows Fan Fan Fan, a Sky Pirate van ship pilot. Quite a mouthful, I know. But she's also one of the best pilots in the show. She pilots a little van ship called a Vespa, which is used to take down bigger van ships, which they call Skyfish. She is always aiming to get first harpoon with her partner known as Giselle, who is probably one of the best navigators in the series. And together they make quite a good team. But deep down inside, Fam is actually wanting to do a thing called the Grand Race, where the entire world comes together for one big race, where all the best van ship pilots race each other to see who is the fastest. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen anytime soon because the entire world is basically enthralled in civil war. Yes, it's one of those anime. I know. Basically, the Argus Federation is trying to take over every little part of the world so that they can control it because they feel it's their right because they never left the planet. Because hundreds, maybe even thousands of years ago, the planet was ininhabitable except for one small portion and everybody else had to leave and unfortunately there wasn't enough exiles to go around so the Argus Federation got stuck there and they were known as the Left Behind so they feel it's their right to have the planet and then all of these people come back and they think it's their right to have the planet because it was theirs originally and basically it's a massive, massive civil war over land, and Fam and Giselle just happen to get stuck in the middle of it because of Princess Milia. Now, Princess Milia is a, the princess to an area of the country called Tehran. Well, actually, she's the younger sister as well, so she's actually the second princess, because there's two. But I'll, I'm not going to say anything about the older princess because it's spoilers. But, younger princess, and they become friends because Fam and Giselle decide to help out the people of Tehran, and they make a promise to her father to get her to safety. So, that's what they do. And in the process, they basically become like sisters. And that's when shit starts to really hit the fan, because they get dragged into the Civil War to take down all these van ships, to fight the Argus Federation, and yeah, I'm not going to say any more because you're going to have to check it out. Just saying. The good, the bad, and the dubbers. Now, our three main protagonists are Fem, who is voiced by Jad Saxton, who you might know as the voice of child Nico Robin from One Piece, and Carla from Fairy Tale. Then there is also Giselle, who is voiced by Lee Clark, whom you might know better as Blair from Soul Eater, and Marin, girlfriend to Krillin, not daughter to Krillin, from Dragon Ball Z. Then, finally, there is Princess Milia, who is voiced by Carrie Savage, whom you might know from D. Grey Man as Mei Ling, and from One Piece, she is Kaya, from the Usopp arc, the sickly one, the blonde hair, has a goat-like but butler, that girl, yeah, that, that, she's the one. Now my final thoughts on this anime are that it is a wonderful series, very beautifully drawn, it is very beautifully told, and not only that, but it reminds me a lot of Code Geass, but with a lot less 
mind control and the graphics are a little more humble. It, I do urge you to go check it out because it is a very, as I said, I went in blind and it was amazing for me. I, I loved it. It's probably in my top five now. And it has a lot of rewatchability. Like, I, I actually went back and watched this series again and I found the exact same enjoyment after watching it the first time because I watched the first time in Japanese and the second time in English. And both times it was amazing. You should check it out. I give it an 8 out of 9 angels because it's seriously one of the best things I've seen this year. And I've been 2.0 and I will catch you guys on the flip side.